Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the new DJI Air 2S. So stay tuned if you want to watch me unbox this new drone. So firstly, I went for the standard drone that comes with a controller and one battery. I've already got the DJI Mavic Air 2, so I didn't think I really needed the combo kit. So without further ado, let's get unwrapping this box. So let's just flip it over. I'm going to cut the plastic off. And now the blade decides to come out of the knife. So let's take this plastic off out the outside. So for you who watch my videos, this is, will be the first unboxing video that I've ever done. So if you do like these videos, please put a comment down below and I'll do more. So let's take off this wrap. There we go, so the lid is off. Pop that on the side. So, first looks into the box. You can see the drone straight away is right there. So let's go ahead and pull out the drone. So, I'm gonna put the box to the side. So we have it, the first look at the Air 2S. So it looks pretty much similar to the Mavic 2 Air, which you'll see behind me right there somewhere. So let's have a look. So <clears throat> very similar body to the previous Air 2. As you can see, it falls out exactly the same. It is exactly the same size as well. But obviously there's some key features on this drone, which made me decide to basically purchase this. So we've got a couple of stickers here that we're gonna take off so we can get access to the drone. So we'll just show you guys. Sometimes I'm a bit finicky with these. There we go, we'll just take it off there. So take it off that, put that down to the side. Got a couple of stickers. One reason why I went for this drone is purely for the fact that it does take the same batteries as the Mavic Air 2, which is a win-win for me. So a couple more stickers to take off. There we go. So first looks at the drone, like I said, is similar to the previous Mavic Air 2. However, uh, there are some couple of extra features on this drone. As you can see here, we've got two more front facing sensors. So they do look like they angle up, but obviously when you're pitching the drone, you're flying forward, they will now be front facing sensors. So let's go ahead and take off the front cover. So as you can see, you can already see the bigger one inch sensor, which obviously looks amazing here now. So this is now a 20 megapic camera and also now shoots 5.4K video, up to 30 frames a second. Obviously with the one inch sensor, it'll be now better in low light situations. So that's the drive. I don't wanna go into it too much because it's just purely an unboxing video, but obviously you have similar sensors on the bottom downward facing sensors, you still have the LED light that comes on mainly in the night. You have the two front facing sensors like you previously had in the old drone. And then obviously you have these two new additional front facing sensors for when you're pitching forward as well. And then lastly, you've got the back sensor there as well. So look wise, it looks very similar to the last Mavic Air 2. However, obviously, there's a nice groove now in the front there to allow those sensors to be put in place. And obviously the main thing is the camera there is much larger by half an inch. But hopefully when I go out and test this drone, you'll see the performance difference in it. So that's the drone there. I don't want to go into too much because it's an unboxing video. So let's put this to the side and we'll go through what else is left in the box. So let's fold this up. So I've already taken the drone out. Now we're looking inside. There's a little tab here that we're going to pull out to unveil what's inside. So here we go. First in the box, then we have the controller, exactly the same controller as 
the Mavic Air 2, very similar. Obviously, this pops up there to slide any phone in there that you wish to use, whether it be Android or smartphone. And then obviously you have the joysticks there placed in the bottom and also the charging port for the controller. So nice and simple, there is the controller from the box. So then we have a couple of little safety guides, which every drone usually comes with these days, as you can see here. And then we've got a little compartment here, which we're gonna open out. Actually, it slides out, lovely. Let me just put these to the side. So then in here, I'm assuming it says they're accessories. So more than likely, this is gonna be the charging port and a couple of extra cables. So let's just empty all this out. Oh, and we've got propellers and some extra remote control sticks as well. So lovely. Right, let's just check there's nothing else left in the box. One of those salt sachets, I don't know why they ever put them, or gel sachets, I don't know why they put them in there. But yeah, I believe that's all that's left in this box. Obviously, like I said, this is not the combo kit, okay? So, we've got a bunch of propellers that come with it. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six propellers, okay? So obviously four of them will actually go on the drone itself. Then we'll have two spare ones left over. What he said about that, we've got the joysticks here just in case you lose yours. And then obviously we've then got the charging port and the cable there so we can charge the drone up. A little cable there, I think that's USB to USC for the remote itself. And then these are some extra additional cables for the remote to your phone body so depending whether you have android or iphone so on so forth you can use these so that's the basics of what's in the box it's pretty simple they are the basics it's not a combo kit however you can see behind me on the charging wall i do have the original accessories from the mavic air 2 combo kit which will work in junction with this drone because they do actually use the same battery which is one of the reasons why i bought this drone so Let's go into the drone a bit more. It does have ABS-B, or should I say ADS-B, which basically what it means, it gives you a current live feed of any helicopters or aircrafts within your area when you're actually flying the drone itself, which obviously safety being a big part thing now with the drones being used within the UK and around the world, this is one of the leading things that DJI wanted to implement into their drones so they were more safety orientated for our governing body, which is the CAA. So that's a great addition. Obviously, because the camera now in this is a higher quality and you are shooting it in like a 5.4K resolution, it will drain the battery time. So the battery time on this now is 31 minutes approximately. Obviously, they can't give you a Pacific time but that's what they state on their website so like i said we've got the one inch sensor now which should be really good in the low light situation situ so now we've got the one inch sensor which should be now really good in the low light situations as well and the actual gimbal feels way sturdier than the last mavic air 2 this feels like a titanium or aluminium gimbal and the last one was plastic so this feels a lot more sturdier and a bit more upper market if you want to put it that way so that's the drone there the drone still has an eight gigabyte internal memory as well just in case you forget your sd card and it now also using four hala antennas on the drone itself so now two are placed in the rear of the legs there so they do suggest or they do say on the dj website you can get up to 12 kilometers of transmission using this drone, but perfectly honest you, you're meant to fly in line of sight, so anyone flying 12 kilometers, unless you've got a, a spotter as they call it, you ain't gonna be really using that, so, but that is a good feature, so you know that you're gonna get a steady transmission feed if you do wanna push the drone a little bit further. One other key feature that 
is in this drone, but it's mainly been implemented into the app. It's called MasterShot. So yeah, basically MasterShot basically will allow you to capture all the quick shots in one go. So I will be testing this out in another video later in the future. But basically what you can do is isolate the subject that you want to capture and you click master shots and it will basically do all the different quick shots, whether it be rocket, droney, um, helix, orbit, it'll do it all in one. So when you walk away from a shoot using this drone, you can then basically have all the quick shots done in one go. So this drone, other than the sensor at the front, and the two whew, sensor at the front, other than the new camera at the front and the two new sensors, is pretty much very similar. However, it is a little bit heavier than the previous Mavic Air 2, but I'm very much looking forward to getting this drone out and about and see what it can do. So that is just a quick unboxing of the drone, which I'm now gonna fold up and put to the side, but if you did enjoy this video, and it's a quick unboxing I know, but if you did enjoy this video and you wanna see a more in-depth review on the drone, maybe me flying it in my first test flight with the drone, please do comment down below and I will definitely look to get that video out for you guys. But from me, I'll see you in a bit. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. So soon we'll be testing out this bad boy.